Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Zambi here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are gonna do another top five video. So today, we are gonna do top five Batman villains that do deserve to be in a movie. This is my personal list. This is not fan base. This is what I believe, and this what I think these villains do deserve a chance to be on the big screen. So starting with number five, we got. The one and only Hugo Strange. Hugo Strange is pretty much a, uh, how can I describe it? He's a scientist. Um, in this movie, we can get that this uh, Hugo Strange do know the Batman identity. And he um, broadcasts it on TV and saying that he will expose Batman if Batman does not take off his mask on live TV and stuff. So it could be like a, you know, like a, a, um, those type of movie that Batman got to find a way to stop Hugo Strange before he do expose his identity on live TV. Um, it was, we could do a different story. Um, that's my um, that's why I think a, a story could be like for Hugo Strange that could be better. But yeah, going with number four, we got Victor Sass. So Victor Sass is one of the craziest Batman villains. He's not like Joker crazy, but he's one there. But Vincent Hatch is a serial killer that kill people and carve the um and he carve um uh, marks in his body uh numbers of how many people he killed. And this man is super crazy. We can pick that um what type of story we can do for Victor Sass. I don't know what type of story to do for Victor Sass, to be honest. It could be like a killer type of story that Batman uh has to find who's the killer and stuff is, but it's actually Victor Sass. Um, that would have been a great story. But yeah, so if you don't know who Victor Sass is, go watch Gotham. Um or read a comic. <laughs> so yeah. With number three, we got stuff the Red Hood. So if you is a Robin fan, you're going to definitely love the Red Hood. They teased the Red Hood in the DCU at least a couple of times with the Joker tattoo. With Robin, the Robin suit in the Batcave and Batman vs. Superman. So why not make the Red Hood the next villain? Because he didn't, Bruce didn't save him from the Joker. We, we can do the, um, we could do the same story as the 2010 animated show animation movie what we can change the story up a little bit um we can um how can i say um jail little joker have a tattoo of a robin den um and you can tell that the joker killed the robin because batman beat the living crap out of him that's why he got the damaged forehead on his tattoo um and besides who doesn't want red hood red hood is a good character uh, we haven't seen him on the film, a live action film. But yeah. Starting with number two, we got the Clayface. Um Clayface is pretty much like a half man and he's like Clay at the same time. He was in an accident. We can change this Clayface backstory and like his life was like terrible. And then he experimented on himself or something, and then he became a became Clayface. Um, and then Batman got to find out who is this Clayface guy is, see if he can help him stuff. But we, but there's like three Clayface. Um, I don't know which Clayface to pick this from. I personally don't got myself a favorite Clayface, but I I choose Clayface for this list because we haven't seen him on the live screen at all. As I can remember, we don't get to see him on the animation, t um, movies, or TV shows. So why not? Just go with Clayface if you want to do something different with creatures and stuff. Um, let's get right straight to the number one list. So starting with the last one, we got ourselves Professor Pig. Why I choose Professor Pig for the last one is because he's a good character. He's not a bad character. So he's pretty much like a guy that want to make people perfect by making them into like zombies type not actually zombie but he mind controlled them um this guy is very very crazy um he do like brain surgery on you to make you his means 
But he was trying to make you perfect. So he's on the Gotham TV show right now. But if they keep doing him in the movie just correctly, they can make like a horror Batman movie. I don't know if DC is trying to do that right now because they are doing the lighter tone in the movies now since Shazam and stuff is coming. But yeah, if they are planning to do a horror tone with the Batman, I recommend using um, um, for as a pig. And plus, he was a good bad guy in the Arkham, Arkham Knight game. And he, I, I just love being the crap out of him just, just for fun. But yeah, um, tell me if you guys want to see any more of these videos. Leave a like, comment, and also subscribe if you are new. And I am going to do my videos very slow. I am not going to talk fast anymore. People are complaining because I'm talking fast. I am going to slow down and do words by words. I'm sorry about my voice. I am going to make a video about that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.